Hello and welcome to Storytime with Mr Anderson. Today we're going to be reading Christopher Pumpkin. Written by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett and illustrated by Nick East. On Snaggletooth Lane in spooky Spooksville was a dark, creepy castle perched high on a hill. Deep in that castle, by the glow of the fire, sat a wicked old witch with a burning desire to throw a huge party, the scariest yet, one that her friends would never forget. There's too much to do. It'll drive me berserk. Now who can I find that will do all the work? She looked all around, then what did she spy? But a big pile of pumpkins she bought for a pie. They could be useful and scary as well. I'll bring them to life with the help of a spell. She was making an army and having a ball. As they sprang into life, she gave names to them all. Gnarly and grisly, grunty and raw, Snaggletooth, Stinkface, and maybe one more. The witch raised her wand for one final go. There were sparkles and glitter. Then a voice said, Hello, I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun. I'm so happy to be here. Group hug, everyone. He stretched out his arms and gave them a grin, and out shone the warmth and the kindness within. Oh no, screeched the witch, what on earth did I make? You're supposed to be scary, I've made a mistake. Now hang on a minute, said Christopher P. I'm sure I'll fit in, just wait and you'll see. All right, snapped the witch as there's so much to do, but Christopher Pumpkin, I'll be watching you. Now get on with your work and make decorations. I want horrible, ghastly, frightful creations. Did someone say decor? That's right up my street. Forget about tricks and prepare for a treat. There was lifting and shifting and huffing and grunting. But while the others hung cobwebs, Chris hung up bunting. Then along came the witch. Work harder, buffoons! But instead of bat lanterns, Chris chose balloons. The horrified pumpkins all scuttled away. They needed to find party music to play. My favourite music is howling and screaming, said Gnarly the pumpkin his scary eyes gleaming. I'm sorry, said Chris, but that sounds bizarre. Let's all have a sing-song. I brought my guitar. Now for the food, it was time to begin. So they stood round the cauldron, tossing things in. Firstly some earwax, then hair from a yeti, a poisonous bug and some mouldy spaghetti. The result was rat pizza, all sprouting with hair, and stinky green cheese made from old underwear. Some hot curried slugs, fried spicy snakes. Then in walked our Chris with some pink fairy cakes. This just isn't working, I think you'll agree, said the witch as she glared down at Christopher P. I've had quite enough, you're not part of this group. If you can't be scary, I'll turn you to soup. You've got until morning. Have I made myself clear? Poor Christopher nodded, frozen with fear. I don't want to be soup, or a pie, or a flan. I'll stay up all night and think of a plan. I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun. But there must be a way I can scare every one. He worked through the night, never taking a break. But the clock, it was ticking. 
soon the witch would awake. The morning arrived and the pumpkins all stared at Christopher's bed. He's gone, they declared. I suppose it was better he went without fuss. There was really no chance he could ever scare us. Along came the witch. Now out of my way. My guests are arriving. The party's today. So poor Chris had vanished, or so it would seem. But then, from outside, came an almighty... Scream! <laughs> it's horrid! It's nasty! It just isn't funny! Please someone stop him! I want my mummy! There were unicorns skipping, balloons on the door, pink fluffy kittens and sparkles galore. There were marshmallow puffs piled up in mountains. Strawberry milkshake was squirting from fountains. I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun. But before he could finish, the witch shouted, Run! Wait, don't you like it? Chris called with delight. Well, one thing's for sure. I scared them all right. The end. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notification of new stories.